The SCA says police bungling negatively impacted the state's case. The court also highlighted several inconsistencies in the state's case. Key among them was the failure to call critical witnesses to testify. State witness Sibongi Lepakisi's version of events was found to be incredible. Even though Pakisi claimed he had been severely assaulted by the appellants, he never sought medical help. His alleged blood-stained clothes were neither produced as exhibits in court nor taken in for forensic testing. The appellant's version was supported by expert evidence, which included cell phone records. Post-mortem results also confirmed that Mushrewu may have fallen on his head from the moving vehicle. The honors was on the state to prove that the appellant's negligent actions caused Mushrewu's death. The SCA ruled that there were mutually destructive versions in the state's case. Poor police investigation and contradicting versions by witnesses were not helpful either. We are happy about this judgment. Um, you know, justice is not having people that are innocent uh, in jail. From the beginning, we knew that they were innocent because it was clear from evidence that the state's only witness lied. And that is why Afri Forum said that we would fund the appeal case. We funded everything. We funded Advocate Barry Rue and the rest of the legal counsel. And uh, now we were shown to be right and we are happy about that it's so it's such a great pity that someone died but you cannot because it's a pity that someone died put innocent people in jail and today we saw justice was done those two men can now go home because they are not guilty the so-called sunflower case ignited racial tensions in the farming town of colini afri forum says it will continue to seek justice for the innocent failed by the justice system. Apumelele Mdalane, SABC News, Bloomfontein.